This meeting is being recorded. Is it being played too? I think it's just being yeah, recorded. Yeah, it's going out live. It's live? Okay. All right, what do we got for a 7 o'clock A&Rs? There are no A&Rs. Okay. 705, hearing applicant, the side family LLC requesting a modification of the approved site plans as allowed under section 3.2.6.3 of the Auburn's only bylaws. Okay, we're gonna have to wait till 705 to handle that. All right. Would you like me to sign? Yeah, it's on your, okay. it's right in front of you. Why don't I sign? Uh, we can do several things in the five minutes. You have uh, minutes that can be approved. All right. minutes for the last meeting. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes? I was not at that meeting, Adam. <coughs> okay. Oh, that's right, you weren't, were you? Right. We, so, there's we, no, no form. so there's no quorum to so approve the minutes. So we will hold that till the next. Uh, we can talk about new business. Um, the, well, let, actually let's do the tri-party release for Camden Woods. Um, I've received a request uh, from, uh, what is his name, Jeff Boisclair, the president of Camden, or of Arlington Homes. He is indicating he has completed Camden Woods. Um, if it's the board's pleasure, I will have the DPW complete a final inspection uh, and report as to whether or not the board should release the tri-party <laughs> or have them produce a uh, bullet point list of items that remain for him to finalize prior to the release. Uh, I, he's been working on this for quite a while and I, I think he's probably pretty close. He's worked uh, closely with the, the DPW director so if the board would like I can have that begun. He's looking to have it accepted as a public road uh, which he'd probably be shooting for some for the fall town meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, so we're going to vote on that. I think we should make a motion to have a final to inspection. To request the final inspection. Final inspection. And report from the DPW. And report from the DPW. Okay. Is there a second on that? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. A vote. Uh, other new business, um, this Senate election that's coming up is absolutely murder on me because it falls on June 25th, which would be the board's next scheduled meeting date, which was when we were talking about trying to have a joint meeting with conservation. Uh, I received a message from the conservation chair uh, asking if the board would be willing to meet on the 26th uh, with conservation on the Mossad family issue. Uh, the, it's a Wednesday. Uh, the issue with that conceptually is the board has uh, two other hearings that evening that are already scheduled and advertised. Con -con. No, this board, uh, for the 25th. We, we've received applications for two projects that were scheduled for the 25th, uh, and this room would be occupied by conservation, and the selectmen's room will be occupied by the finance committee that evening. We, we could. I don't know if the kitchen would hold the board and two parties of applicants. Uh, I also don't know what the agenda for finance would look like. It's the last meeting of the year. So potentially it would be a quick meeting by them and they would be doing several transfers and be moving on. So that's, that's an option. I can check into that if the board is willing and able to meet with CONCOM that evening. So we, we can't meet You can't have a public day. hearing on election day. It's flummoxed me twice this year. <coughs> Special election. Yeah. So go to the 26th. That would be <coughs> the ideal option. And what we would do is we would post 
uh, a postponement on the doors and up on the website and that would cover the notice that we've already put out for those hearings you don't have a room right? well we may have a room right. we could we could always meet in our office it's the, the ability to transfer the meeting down there and what we would do is we would just post it that we're going to meet here because the conservation joint hearing would be here and then we would adjourn or recess and then reconvene elsewhere because there is a giant table in, in our office that could be made suitable for a board hearing yeah thank you I'm, I'm okay with the 26 you john if you can give me <coughs> two minutes i'm downloading okay it, if you want to let me know tomorrow okay we can we can try and sort it out then all right all right now we're back to 705 okay so we've got two hearings correct all right so again i read the first one the Mossad, yeah, you don't need to read them both, uh, especially since the Mossads are not here. They have requested a continuance. Um, being that, well, w what I would suggest is we need to continue them to a date certain. They're looking to come to the board uh, at the next available meeting uh, because they'll be meeting with the Conservation Commission tomorrow evening. Uh, to give their initial presentation on the new notice of intent and run through the whole uh, process of, of what they did here when they came the last time. So I would suggest that because the board has a meeting scheduled on the 25th, we continue them to that agenda, and then when we continue that entire agenda, they'll be continued in kind with the other hearings. It's okay. We can do that. Do we need a motion on that? Yes. Motion. Second. So, yeah. you made a motion to do that. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. It is a vote. Next hearing on the agenda. Herb Chambers, Prospect Street, LLC. Requesting a site plan review for a proposed automotive sale inventory lot and service center is allowed in section 3.2.6.3 and 4.3.5.1 of the Auburn Zoning Bylaws on the property located at 20 Prospect, Prospect Street, Auburn, uh, Map 60, Parcel 8. All right, what do we got there, Larry? Good evening. <clears throat> this is a continuation from about a month ago, and um, we have some new information on, or amended information, modified plans to show you. I know you only got three members tonight. I'm going to make an assumption that one or maybe both of them will catch up with this meeting by doing the same thing John did, and that would be fine. So we're comfortable in proceeding, and. Um, I'll mention six areas that there have been some, some, we have additional information to present to you. One is there was discussion about the um, access driveway off Prospect Street at the last meeting. We've got some new things to talk to you about that. We're just reading some comments that you see from the town engineer as we sat down, so we have to incorporate those into what our presentation is going to be at this, at this time. Um, we're going to talk to you about the peer review engineer report, which VHB has submitted. And essentially, by like summarizing gross, they've said that uh, the plans have been modified to, uh, and the responses have been given to them that uh, that bring. So they have a satisfactory, sort of a clean report. They're satisfied with what's been presented. If that's an incorrect statement, um, please correct me, Adam. No, I think that that's a. <coughs> correct summary of VHB's comments. There was an earth removal uh, question the last time. Wanted to know what the estimate of the uh, the cubic yardage of material is to, that's going to be removed from the site, and that's 10,000 cubic yards. It'll take between one and two months to do that. Um, the board requested the information on the number of service bays, which 
we have and has been incorporated into a, uh, a limited um, <coughs> a traffic engineering review that's been done. The number of service bays is going to be 30, which is 13 more than exists presently. Presently, the service center has 17. Um, the, there is a traffic uh, memorandum, traffic impact memorandum, which has been prepared and provided to the town, although we, did, we only got it today, and so the town only received it today as well. Um, the last few hours before the close of business seem to be quite busy for the consultants. <coughs> um, the project proponent has not had any feedback yet from Mass DOT on the uh, highway access off of Route 20, which was an issue that we would discuss last time. There has been some modification to that design, uh, particularly and correct Mike in response to making certain that the car carriers could move through that through that access way easily. Um, and then the, again, the traffic, the limited traffic report has been prepared and has been submitted. The town has not had at this point in time a chance to review it. Although I like to go to the executive summaries and conclusions section, which is pretty quick. You'll re you'll have to Adam and you will have to read the the uh, <coughs> the, sub the uh, information which leads you to the conclusion. But the conclusion is that they'll that the new um, service center will have very limited, uh, uh, they, the consultant calls it little impact on the intersection of Route 20 and Prospect Street. And all the supporting information is there. We'll, we'll go through that in more detail. But why don't we stop, we want to go back and start with that access drive off of uh, Prospect Street. Mike will show you what's being proposed. <coughs> This was in response particularly to, if I can, Mr. Arthur, your comments about uh, <coughs> another lane there for uh, getting into getting in and out of that so driveway. You'll, you'll probably recall that we discussed the last meeting <coughs> restricting um, car carriers from using only the Route 20 entrance. They would not be allowed to use the Prospect Street entrance. Uh, we also indicated that we're uh, going to um, uh, regulate that uh, test drive vehicles and not be allowed to take a right-hand turn at the Prospect head up to the residential neighborhood. They will only be allowed to turn left out of Prospect. Um, so to address the comments that we heard and concerns that we heard about traffic on Prospect, we added this, uh, for lack of anything else, it's essentially a deceleration lane, even though it is heading up the hill, it's more of a turning lane. So that um, traffic entering the site would be able to pull off of the traveled way uh, slightly before they enter the site. This is um, you know, approximately a 70-foot turning lane um, off on the shoulder of Prospect Street before they enter the site driveway. So that would allow a number of cars to pull off um, and allow um, bypassing traffic to uh, continue past the site. So that was a chain, change that was made on Prospect Street. Uh, Larry mentioned briefly on 20, this curb cut was uh, enlarged um, to 40 feet wide <coughs> the throat. And um, this now allows a car carry to enter the site uh, and turn uh, up the site in one movement without having to cross over to the exiting lane, which was a concern that was raised. So uh, if a car was exiting the site, the truck may potentially not be able to enter and vice versa. Um, so that's been addressed. Uh, we did lose one parking space on the end here as a result of that change as well uh, to provide a larger radius uh, for that return, uh, for that turn back into the site. That change was made as well. So there were changes on both the site entrances. Any questions on? Did you change the width of Prospect Street? Change the width? No, we had no. Made no changes to Prospect Street. Did you get the uh, <coughs> Department of Public Works comment on this? As we sat down, yes. Did, did you see his first? Uh, Nope. Consideration the increased volume of large delivery vehicles with a width of prospect street should be extended to 30 feet. Which one? Is that the uh, earlier one, Mr. Rother? Is that uh, it? shows all the comments. It shows his original oh, 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 comments. I'm sorry, and then yes, it shows, you're repeating. Okay. It shows yep. Mike's comments yep. and then yep. it shows yep. their, the yep. DPW's additional comments. Right. Yes, we're, we're familiar with that from the earlier uh, meeting. <coughs> I think our response to that, if I can, was was that we we're going to put that 
decel or access lane in at the point uh, at a point proximate to where the uh, driveway entrance was but I can see from and again we just got this as we sat down as you did um, I'm a speed reader <laughs> well now it says the engineering division recommends that the Prospect Street driveway opening be designed differently than we've modified it to discourage truck traffic from utilizing the point of access. They're not going to be permitted to use at that point of access, but a reduced curb cut radius as well as a raised island with vertical granite curb could be used to accomplish this. The turning lane is proposed may only encourage the use of truck traffic to Prospect Street, given the low speed of the traffic proceeding up gradient. And then the improvements to Prospect Street is previously recommended by our office. Our office should still be considered. So apparently we have some additional. And I, I had a, a brief conversation with the assistant town engineer today, and I think what their concern is is that if you provide the additional width at the entrance, as as you have with the the turn lane, it allows car carry to potentially make that turn a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. If you eliminate that, <clears throat> it discourages it because they're not going to be able to then make the turn. And I think that there's a little bit of conflict between what you the comments you received at the board meeting and what their original comment was. So I, I don't know what the best way to sort of sort that out is. A similar comment could be made that if you widen <coughs> Prospect Street the way they described, they'd like to see Prospect mm -hmm. Street widen, you would also encourage... Well, correct, and I, and I think that their, their original comment was if you're going to allow truck traffic right. on Prospect Street, they would like to see it widen and they would like to see that additional overlay mm -hmm. in order to provide longevity to that portion of road which wasn't originally designed to carry heavy traffic. Mm -hmm. So I think that's... I think that they're they're looking at it merely from the design <coughs> perspective, and they're not looking at what the 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 intent of the comment from the board was at the last meeting. Okay. <clears throat> the way the way I kind of read this is that if we're going to allow truck traffic to come in and out of Pres Prospect Street, then we should look at. An option like this. Correct. It strikes me that the applicant was saying that the truck access was going to be entirely from Washington Street and that that would be prohibited off Prospect Street. Mm -hmm. Correct. So it's kind of a moot point if I'm interpreting that correctly. The um, my only question would be it seems to show are, are you currently um, anticipating having a left in turn from Washington Street and then also a left turn out? For, tr for truck traffic, and how would that be accommodated? Yes, um, uh, the only well, the only restriction we've heard from Mass DOT, and this was when we made a preliminary submittal to them um, a month or so ago, was that they would not allow left turns out of the site, obviously for crossing Route 20 and, and reasons there. But mm -hmm. entering the site from 20, it was a, a full movement uh, left in and right in uh, from either direction. 20, so there's no restrictions that way. I, I don't know if they're going to uh, have any more comments on that when we finally get comments from them on the access permit related to that entrance. Um, well, you, you are correct on the Prospect Street site. We aren't proposing to do any uh, uh, car carrier or truck access via that entrance um, at all. Okay. Um, to answer your question. Okay. And through the chair, I would agree with you that you're right. The, the widening and, and additional construction is moot if they're not mm -hmm. encouraging truck traffic. I think what the additional comment was is that the geometry provides visually and okay. operationally the potential that a car carrier could make that turn and may entice a driver or certain drivers to attempt that rather than sitting on 20 trying to take a left hand turn. Not mm -hmm. that they should if they're giving an express prohibition <coughs> that they should still be required to do the additional construction just that the new design may provide the potential that somebody could do that and you can only mitigate so much so I think with their reduced radius and the raised mm -hmm. island they're looking at something that would be a physical barrier from a car carry making that turn. How many parking spaces does this plan? 
Uh, in second phase here, there's 400 and, uh, this is the first phase, I'm sorry. First phase is 479. Uh, the second phase is 350. Three hundred and forty-eight in the second phase. <clears throat> With that many cars on that property, okay. Needless to say, anybody would realize that this is this is quite a project, and this is going to create a lot of movement in that area. So, I think that, especially just getting some of this stuff today. Mm -hmm. I'd like to listen to more that you have to say, but I've got to look this stuff over. Yeah. And I'm sure that I Jonathan and Wendy feel mm -hmm. the same about this. Do you, Jonathan? Or? Um, potentially, I think there's still a few things we could look at today, right? So we'll leave it to the applicant to determine. No, go ahead then. No, just, you know, I you see something. I mean, bring it up now so we... Um, I guess I'm, for kind of clarity perspective, I'm a little confused as to what it is we're asking them to do. Um, I don't know, Adam, could you just, or someone describe kind of what is intended by this curb cut radius as well as the raised island and, and where that's intended to be? Um, I think, you know, um, this this turn, I'm sorry, I don't want to No, no, not at all. I just seem to undo that which I just kind of watched in the... It, this turning lane we was not originally proposed. It was added after the first meeting. We right. had concerns that um, traffic entering the site may slow down or interfere with uh, the normal traffic on Prospect Street. Okay. Not talking trucks. Because yep. again, we weren't allowing them here. So we added that as, as a concession. Uh, I think, you know, seeing the comments from DPW, we can certainly reduce this radius uh, some and, and, and potentially look at doing an island here to... Um, um, Discourage, I guess, even though we're not allowing it, trucks to enter use that that, um, that mm -hmm. access point. Um, I don't think um, those comments are uh, uh, anything insurmountable. We can certainly, uh, I I would suggest I probably will uh, get in touch with DPW and see. Uh, if I might, why? Mm -hmm. I mean, we share some of the same concerns you do, as because we just we just got this as we sat down as well, so. As I said before, how much the digest in it, ten minutes? We're trying, we're, right, we're trying to absorb it and, and mm -hmm. digest it and respond to it mm -hmm. as well. And I understand what your problem is because we're having the same, we have yeah, the same issue. Yeah. And I think, you know, I, I, I've had this letter for an hour and forty-five minutes longer than you folks. Yeah. And in in reading it and sort of looking at it with the plans, <coughs> I think the heart of the issue is DOT and what DOT's restrictions are gonna be. If DOT says left in, right out is fine on Route 20, then the Prospect Street entrance is easy to pinhole into car traffic only. If, if they come back with a, we're only gonna allow you a right exit or a right in, right out, then operationally, the applicant has to look at it and determine whether or not that's going to be a functionally operational design and if that then has further impacts on what they want to look at Prospect Street. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think what from the DPW's perspective is they don't want to see a plan approved that is either going to be negated by a DOT access permit restriction or cause the applicant additional <coughs> design or, or you know, approval issues going forward. Yeah, I, I think we would agree that those are the broad parameters we're working within, except <coughs> we've been given this just now. No, I, and I and agree. I, and I would say, again, to Mr. Rother, that <coughs> what we did in terms of uh, the changes that were, the modifications were made between last time and this night was to address specifically the issue that was raised about getting traffic over to the right-hand turn to get into that mm -hmm. Prospect Street uh, driveway in a manner like you described that was on uh, Millbury Street at the bank. Here's the, here's another issue. You got 300, you're going to end up with 350 <coughs> plus or minus spots there. Now, you know as well as I do that the only logical way for those cars to leave that lot and to head back to the main body is going to be to use the Prospect Street 
exit so that they can hit the light and make a left. There's no other way that they could do that other than leave the entrance, make a right-hand turn, and then somewhere up the road make a U-turn and come back. Okay, so needless to say, in the, in the next turn at that particular point would be up by Home Depot someplace. But um, So this is going to really impact Prospect Street. Um, so that's why, you know, when I made a suggestion at, at first, um, I didn't have a whole layout of Herb Chambers' property from their original piece that they're operating out of now and the new piece that they're proposed for, for the parking. Mm -hmm. Okay? I didn't have that, and I still don't have it. And it would be so much it would be so much better if there was some way that they could make a two-lane, 24-foot road from their original piece of property to this piece of property. We discussed that the last time, and I think when the two addressed it. Yeah, they, they, those, these two parcels are only connected by a small piece of land here. They don't own this piece of land in between. That, I understand that, but yeah. there's, is there 24 feet there? Here? Yeah. Sure there is, but there's other encumbrances. There's a, a detention basin for this property, which is located right here. Immediately adjacent to that is a stream, um, which crosses the 20 at this point. So you'd have to almost build a bridge over that. And we looked at um, the engineering uh, engineering of that when we um, nearly, uh, it's in, not feasible to, to, to construct such a... Huh. Uh, such a bridge because that's what Lundgren is doing to their property down on Route 20. <coughs> They're actually building a small bridge to go <clears throat> across to the parcel that they own prior to the one that they just built, and uh, they negated wetlands by putting in the bridge, and and we saw no problem with that because it alleviated exiting onto Route 20 and then re-entering onto Route 20 again. So, I mean, I brought that up again. I need, I need, uh, I need time to hash this out. And I would assume that <clears throat> Wendy and John and, and uh, Paul and uh, Ronnie Brooks would want to look at that too, so. I, I would think the one thing that we might be able to help with though is trying to give them a little direction as to kind of what is our major concern so that when they come back, they can do so fruitfully if that's what you know, everybody wants to happen. I think what I'm kind of sensing is the board's concern is that there's a concern that if you can't do a left-hand turn onto Washington Street with a car carrier or, um, or with other vehicles, that there's going to be an increase in traffic onto Prospect Street, dis regardless of what... Um, the intention is to have a you know no trucks there or, or however you do it. Um, so I think a, two kind of solutions to that. One would be to, to upgrade or look at making it so that Prospect Street would allow for that. Um, and Or the second would be to make it so it's functionally impossible or harder for a truck to turn left onto Prospect Street, which is what's kind of recommended here. Um, which still leaves some mass DOT issues, but um, so I mean, you can, it strikes me that those are the two things that we would look at favorably, if I'm not mistaken. Is That's that right? correct, yeah. So <clears throat> if that is helpful as you guys review it, I think the intention is to make it so that we have a functional solution and not just a kind of uh, you know, solution on the plan. <coughs> Without That's knowing what DOT is going to come up with, okay, mm -hmm. it's almost impossible to give these people direction. Um, that that's um, on that. My understanding is that's going to be a tough. Usually, practically, you don't get a determination from DOT until after it goes through this process, the local process. Anyways, is that that's well, right, my you know. general understanding? So they okay. they've been I've I've been talking to them since we had the last okay. meeting, you know, twice a week really, and it gets passed around in many different hands over there, in different departments. Mm -hmm. And um, I understand comments are coming. Um, okay. Possibly within a week, um, so they are they are they are um, 
planning and issuing comments to, to us okay. uh, before the close of this meeting. And we, they understand that, we're, that would be we're kind of in the middle. We're kind of in the middle of the two yeah. these two permanent. That would be you know areas. that would be helpful um, so that we don't uh, cause problems for the people using Prospect Street and. And also, we don't cause problems for you people in making this a, a viable uh, development. And to your comment earlier, Mr. Rothrod, the, the traffic report that you just received tonight, and I know you haven't had a chance to look at it, it does address um, the impacts to Prospect Street. This was prepared based upon this plan. So if we, have, if we have to make any changes from Matthew's comments, obviously we'll have to address them, yeah. uh, update the traffic report accordingly. But the report is developed, um, reflects this plan that you just before you tonight. This is just too tight a schedule for me, but I don't know. Well, we have, I, I think, on the on a general overview situation standpoint, in terms of on-site itself, not the access ways, which we're really talking about mostly here. Mm. The VHB has said that they that, that they find the drainage and the, everything in the ground there and that design. I didn't have a problem with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, absolutely not. I think the major issue that we're running into here is the access to the property and the exit to the property. I think that's, is that the way you look at it, Jim? Uh, yeah, I think- And Wendy? I wouldn't want to approve something <coughs> that you then have to come back in a month anyways, because Master your team yeah. to I think that's the, I, again, I think that's the only issue here. I, I mean- One question on this Connolly Association, just something that I quickly looked at. What are the hours of operation for the current service center? And do you have the proposed hours of operation Monday through Friday, Saturday mornings? Um, we're open 7.30 in the morning till uh, 8 in the evening, Monday through Thursday. Friday we close at 6, 7.30 to 6. Um, are you just talking service or sales also? Well, um, well on Saturday. Total what? operation is uh, 7.30 to uh, 6 <coughs> on Saturday and 11 to 5 on Sunday. Thank you. I take it you'd like to just have us continue this till we get. Yes, I would. Okay. Yes, I would. The question is. <clears throat> yes. Do you want to roll the dice on two weeks? <clears throat> I'm going to be gone on the 11th of. Uh, <clears throat> I won't be back until the 12th of July, which Me too. is. So there's two of us that are going to be gone on the first week in July's meeting. Um, no, there's three again, of us. I'm sure you're going to want to, what? There's three of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a tough time of year. Yep. <clears throat> I, I'll still, you know, I wouldn't have a problem uh, coming back or making a, a, a different day to do something, but if it's part of a public hearing, I think it has to be. Uh, yes. It has to be uh, noted as such, you know. So. Do you all have a? Is there a deadline that you're aiming towards, or simply just? Yes, it's about three weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, that's why I said yeah. I wouldn't mind. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we could look at July second. I won't be. No, here. I won't be here. Okay. Okay. The um, any time after the twelfth, I can I can be here or before or before <coughs> the thirtieth. Well, the other issue is I guess we could, if with the board's agreement, we could continue it for two weeks, see what we can get out of mm -hmm. the you know. Yeah, the, that, that's fine. That's okay, good. and then if we don't get it, we just say you know, we didn't get it, and you mm -hmm. want to, you understand we tried, and that's it. We'll try to get we'll get another date yeah, at that time. That's fine. That okay? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in two weeks, you'll have a full board here, I believe. Are you going to be here, Wendy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. John? Two weeks is... 25. That's that the one that yeah. we're going to try and push to the Wednesday. After the 27th, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Okay. So what was the, the date? Oh. It would be the 26th. Okay. We're going to call it the 25th right now, since we haven't firmed up the 26th. Mm. With the understanding that it's going to get pushed that one day based yep. on election. election. Yep. Uh, and that would be I'll talk to Ronnie and uh, seven thirty, Paul, and I'm I'm pretty sure that they're both okay for that yep. meeting okay. too. So. We would need a motion. Um, motion to continue. Sure. Seven thirty. Okay. All in favor. Aye. 
Is there a reason for 7.30 in that? Because I've oh, got two hearings there. already and then we just right. continue to third. There is a meeting. <laughs> there is a reason. Okay. Yeah. Um, sure. Bring so your jammies. It'll be a long night. Yeah. Is it, yeah. Be time to is it fair to say that we're pretty much our issues are related? Yeah, and I think that you know you also have the public here, so you probably want to take comments Absolutely. prior to. Absolutely, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. Any public comment out there? State your name and address. And uh, Kevin Grady, 22 Prospect. Come on up here. Um, the DOT. Are they going to? Are they thinking about putting another traffic light on 20? No. No, they're not. I would imagine not. Oh, I mean, that's, that to me would be perfect. What is that, Mike? Yeah, so about they have to be in, about well, 800 the, feet. The problem is, okay, the, the, the DOT doesn't like to put Five. two lights okay. within a certain yeah. oh, all right. mm. certain distance of one another. That, yeah, that would be nice, too. I mean, know, that entrance is about 500 feet from the existing light at Prospect right. Street, yeah. and then it's probably about another 500 to 800 yeah, feet to Appleton Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. And DOT is... It's just that straightaway stinks. Yeah, they're not real they keen on a lot of traffic lights. That light all the time. Yeah, I know. And another light would just kind of... Yeah, I don't want to do but... Uh, well, I agree with that. Yeah. But, uh, okay, that's all I need to tell Sure. Thanks. Is there anybody else who would like to speak? Alrighty. Steve Bergen. Just uh, looking at uh, the, the light and fence situation. Come up with a solution for that? Um, that we, have, we haven't, I'm sorry. We're not that far yet. Okay. We're, we're at the next meeting. I'm sure we're going to get into that. But um, I think we have to take it by steps here. And, and we will address, believe me, we're, we're going to address the, the lighting and, and every other aspect of the landscaping and all that. Okay. Will, will we get notice for the next meeting? Or? Uh, yeah, I noticed was, it will be the 20th. Tentatively is the 25th. More likely will be the 26th. Okay. Um, if you would like a... You can certainly... If, if you would like a call or whatever, or if you want to leave your name and address, I'll, uh, I'll email you. Have you got an email? I do. Okay. Leave your email and we'll email you the exact uh, date of it. Very good. Thank you. Okay. You can also check the town website. The When you go to the front page, there's calendar on the right. Any day that's highlighted has a meeting on it. If you click that day, it'll list what meetings are that day and there'll be an agenda attached. What's the website for the town? It's auburnguide.com. Auburn Guide. Correct. You could also call my office and they can also tell you when the meetings are scheduled and what's on the agenda. Thank you. So that sounded a little bit different though than what we kind of just talked about. That was what I, that the was issues. the next thing. Okay. <clears throat> but you can go ahead since. Well, is there, I guess we just talked about the DHP report <coughs> and everybody being comfortable with all kind of the site related issues. Um, and then we were switching to say that there was going to be more review on our landscaping and um, fencing and lighting and things of that nature. Um, is that something that we can give them feedback on so that when they come back they can hopefully get an approval? Mm -hmm. Is that something you guys would want feedback on now or would you prefer to wait? Um, my goal is to you know, come to the next meeting and then find out you need to wait three more weeks because of further discussion. Uh, well, we really received that the last time as well. I don't think it's you're going to hear anything different tonight. Okay. <laughs> Not only that, I'd, I'd rather have the full, before we discuss all the particulars on that, I'd like to have a full board here. That's fine. We, we, I'm we, sure we'll be prepared to discuss that. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Have you made alterations or changes, or are you just willing to discuss what was? We'll discuss what we proposed okay. and see where that leads us. Yeah. Okay. I, and I just wanted to. Yeah, we've already gone over the in great detail the difference, mm -hmm. in, so we, we'll be prepared to talk about that. It's not a problem. Good. All right. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Okay.
I'm staying. Huh? Yeah. He likes yet. you guys that much. That's good. Go ahead. Okay, the next hearing is Papagallo LLC requesting a site plan approval under section 9.4 of the Urban Zoning Bylaws for property located at 440 Washington Street, Map 50, Parcel 24. Cleared the room out, Mike. What's that? He cleared the room out. Yeah. I assume this is Mr. Wade. This is Michael yes. Wade. Yes. Who was uh, the manager and member of Papagallo LLC? This is Carl Hultgren from Quinn Engineering. He's done the civil engineering work as he has done the civil engineering work on the uh, buildings to the rear center and to the rear right of this proposed building. Um, this is a proposed 20,300 square foot building on a 2.1 acre parcel which is out front. It's probably, <coughs> if you remember it, really more closely aligned with where the casket company was originally. Um, yep. That's uh, the unfinished part of the property? The yeah. unfinished part of the property, correct. Um, it has access from an existing previous, uh, previously approved common driveway. The property is in the general, indus general industrial district. Um, it's located in an aquifer 2 zone. We have been to the Zoning Board of Appeals to get a, uh, they've applied for a special permit uh, to have more than 15% of the site made impervious. That approval is pending. We go back to the Zoning Board of Appeals on June 20th for that. Um, we have, you know, we, we, uh, the, the issues are very limited in terms of what we're in front of the Zoning Board of Appeals on, but we will be back there on the 20th. We hope to finish up that night. Um, the, um, we have a, Graves Engineering has done, and I don't want to usurp anything that is going to be provided to you or any comments that are going to be provided to you by Adam, but uh, Graves Engineering has done a peer review report. The Planning Board has a letter from Jeff at um, Graves Engineering, and yeah, I believe it's dated Friday. And it's dated Friday. It's from Jeff Wall, and um, it essentially says, uh, I, I'll summarize it, and then Adam can correct me, because I'm going to do it in, 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 in a very simple way, and that is essentially it says that it has reviewed the plans and finds the plans to be in good order, meeting the town's requirements and the requirements of the uh, state in terms of stormwater management. And it, 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 the, this, this drainage system is integrated with the already existing drainage systems on the parcel to the, the building parcel to the rear. It's just a continuation of that system. And, uh, and uh, we'll have, we'll describe to you what that is and I'll have uh, the plans reviewed very quickly, if you will. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, good evening, Carl Holtzman, Quinn Engineering. Uh, as I was saying, we have uh, access from the existing <coughs> common driveway. You can see that here. It goes to the uh, existing building, uh, which is known as the Great Dane Building. Quote unquote Great Dane. It's a company that operates out of there. It's right next to Motorsports. The Motorsports building is right here. Um, so that common driveway existing, we're proposing access up there, and then another driveway. Uh, that goes down to what's now occupied by the Woodpro company, uh, sort of down the hill a little bit. We've got another access coming up there. Uh, so that's for our front parking area. Uh, the rear parking area is proposed to access from that common driveway and also from the parking area at 442 Washington Street, and that is to facilitate uh, truck movements within the site. What we don't want to do is put uh, a curb line through here so that trucks can't go back and forth. Mike Wade owns both properties, so. Um, uh, there's no problems with going from one parcel to another uh, since it's under the same ownership. Um, Larry was describing the drain system. Do you have another slide? Sure. Uh, uh, we've got two underground infiltration areas proposed. Uh, they're the, the sort of the dark um, rectangles that you see here and here. The water from this front parking area. That was me. That's right. Might be easier to there you see. Go. Perfect. Uh, the water from this front parking area is discharged to this underground infiltration area, and then also some of the roof water is also 
the water infiltrates and gets detained there, and then discharges through a piping system to the rear infiltration area here. Uh, again, it gets infiltrated again and then detained again, and then discharges out through the existing drain system at 442 Washington Street. Uh, so this uh, rear infiltration area, along with conveying the water from the front, also collects the water from the pavement in the rear uh, part of discharge, and we get stormwater treatment through uh, some stormwater treatment units and then through the infiltration areas themselves. Uh, and actually, we get a very good level of infiltration because the water from this half of the site ends up going through two infiltration areas and gets uh, basically double the treatment um, as required under the Mass DEP stormwater requirements. Uh, we've got a, a loading dock post here for uh, uh, deliveries to the building. There's no use proposed on site. Have you got a tenant? Like? No, no use. No, no specific yes. use yet. Right. Um, so it's basically a, a building that we're accommodating truck deliveries with a loading dock for. A dumpster uh, is proposed in the back of the site here. There's an existing dumpster uh, in this area also, just uh, just off the plan view. Um, so they'll be right next to each other. You won't be able to see them from Route 20 because they'll be going in the building. Uh, we've got a total of 30 parking spaces proposed, um, 21 spaces in the front along this area here, and then nine in the back, six here, and then three here. It's anticipating in industrial uses inside the building. What, um, how much of that area is uh, not paved? The this plan here actually gives you a better idea of the parcel and what's paved and what's not paved. The green that you see on this plan here is, uh, is not paved. Uh, the brown is the building. And then the white area is pavement. And this dark red line that you see here is the property boundary. So we've got uh, a total parcel area of 2.1 acres. And we've got a proposed impervious of about 63.5%. Um, and because we uh, exceed the limits of the zoning bylaw, that's why we're going to the ZBA for, uh, they want to make sure that we're recharging groundwater and stuff like that. How many square feet is that building? 20,300. 20,300. Mm -hmm. And what have, you, uh, what have you proposed for landscaping on 20? Uh, we've got a plan from a landscape architect the Land Works Collaborative, and on Route 20, we've got a series of trees proposed. And there's actually um, there's some ledge right there. Right here is an exposed ledge. When they were uh, reconstruct Route 20, you can actually see it when you drive by. Uh, so obviously, no trees proposed there. You can't grow a tree on a rock. Um, uh, Bob Mulcahy from Land Works met with Nick and Tenevica on site to go over the landscaping and. Uh, Nick gave him comments on how to make it comply with the bylaw, so that's what um, that's what Bob did. That's his plan you see here as a result. How long is a project like this going to take to complete? Mike, how long is, how does it take to, to get built? I'm going to say six months, maybe nine months. In other words, well, it depends on when the approvals come because you're also fighting the winter season. Mm. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. Maybe we but should do the maybe we should do the landscaping first. <laughs> Through the chair, I have a couple of quick questions. You're connecting the two drainage systems. Are you proposing easements on the connections between the two drainage systems? I know you own all the property. I they're, understand. They're all yeah. separate parcels, so we, we will provide easements okay. so that yep. if the, yeah. if the if I mean, at some point you're going to decide you don't want to own these any longer right. and yep. move that, to that, Florida, and right. it's that, it's nice and neat. I, I wish I wish you could, but <laughs> no, we've already taught discussed okay. that That's that okay. once everything is finished and you know where everything mm -hmm. is and how things connect, it's a lot easier to do the easements. That, yeah, then to do them yeah. ahead of time and have to shift them around. I, that yeah. I totally understand. I just wanted right. to put it yeah. out on the table. And the landscaping plan, I was looking at it uh, this evening, and I, I, I was unaware that Nick met the landscape architect out there. 
it seems to me that it's off in a couple of places. The trees that are proposed along Route 20 are classed as ornamental trees, not as canopy trees. So there's a number deficiency. And I was curious about the additional landscaping buffers, the trees that were, would be required for the western and northern property lines. It doesn't seem that there's trees <coughs> accounted for on those, in those areas. Uh, western being here, okay. and northern being here, because these trees would account for this eastern property. Yep. These would account for the southern property. Now, some of them are here for this, but I didn't count any for this or this property line per the bylaw. Now, that being yeah. said, this board has the ability to waive that per the bylaw, but, I, I and again, I wasn't involved in the conversation that Nick had with the landscape architect, so yeah, we're, we're there. I just want to, you know, put it out to the board that that was my look at this plan briefly this evening, <laughs> and see if that if it was in your intent to request waivers or if well realistically the pavement is going to be connected so correct it's going to be pretty hard to plant trees there and i i agree with that you have the ability to plant them wherever you would like mm -hmm. it's an accounting method um, right. the way the bylaws laid out and again you can ask for the waiver i just right. No, no, no. I, I, you know, I did not understand. That's what I'm saying. But I know the pavement's connected, so it's pretty hard to plant trees. Yeah, and they don't like, like I said, they don't have to be planted there. No, they, they could can be, be run along correct, the side, correct, and stuff like that. Correct. So yeah. there's so just. So in other words, you get a total of what is required. Exactly. And then you space them you, accordingly. Correct. Okay. And the the other comment is relatively minor. There's no stamp on the plan okay. from the landscape architect okay. which yeah. that's a bureaucratic semantics but ultimately upon approval I'll, I'll need something with a stamp on it what do you guys um, can i ask one question real quick sure just for your landscape moments while we're still talking about it uh i don't i didn't do this plan so no i understand i'm not familiar with how many trees would be required but if, let's just say use this spacing here and sort sure. of put it here and here it's. I think eventually we're going to run run out of room. Correct, and 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 that's yeah. that's uh, one of the the metrics that the yeah. board can give you okay. a waiver on, okay. and they can waive it for anything that they feel is reasonable. Uh, you've got about three hundred feet on each side. It's pretty close to a square. I think each yeah. of them rounds up to three hundred feet as far as okay. distance goes. Yes. Okay. So and, and again, I don't think it's a a big deal. It's a it's a good plan. It's nice to see some more landscaping in there. It's more just that was my read of of what was on there. Mm -hmm. okay. What about the lighting? The lighting is basically going to be on the building. It's going to be equal to what I have right now. I mean, I don't have to light up the whole lot like a car dealership. It's going to be basically the lighting that wall I have. Packs for the wall buildings. packs, yeah. This is, um, if you guys want this, that's a cut sheet from... Uh, the previous submittals that we had done mm -hmm. on the building, so yeah. a wall pack on the building. Um, yeah, it looks like a light on a building. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not um, yeah, it's a wall pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. It's, it's not going to shine too no. far beyond the building. Right, and it's no. not like we've got it telescoped at the uh, yeah. opening properties or mm -hmm. anything like that. And I don't have to light it, like I said, like a car dealership that has a car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got any questions, Wendy? Uh, John? No. John, you got any issues? Looks to me, pretty much everything's been met from the review. Do you have any problems with it, then? Uh, no. A and again, I, I don't want you to think that I have a problem with the landscaping. It's more of just I looked at it and did my accounting and did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what? Go ahead. See if you can do me a quick favor. Just can you pull it up on Google Maps so I can see which sure. portion of the property is? Because when I'm looking at it on here, I'm a little confused. Technology. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Uh, you got it. Might as well use it. Oh, see now it's gonna. Um, well, that's the NSA checking out what we're doing. doing. What's there yeah. now? Yeah. 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 It will look a lot better than when it was Fly Palmer and all the burials. Great. Yeah. Yeah. You're right there. 
So no, I have no reservations. So is it fair to say that you'd like to see if we could match the landscaping requirements with practicality on the site? And, and, and I think it, it's it's possible that you're already doing that. Yeah, okay. Oh. Get this back. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, you know, site. you okay. have That's this exactly other grass plot okay. uh -huh. across the road. All set. If you had the ability to put, oh, you, you don't need this? Set. No, we just, okay. Got if you had the ability to put some of the landscaping that would have been in the back over there, it may be to your benefit That's and, right. you know, I don't want you to plant a forest, yep. yeah. but if you have the ability to add more, the only, know, more is more. Right. The only problem I have is <clears throat> this wedge here. Mm -hmm. This, you know, I have it, you know, partly grass, the hill's grass now. I don't think there's much here, but it does run somewhere because it ends up being under this road mm -hmm. in that, so it does. The only thing that limits me here is at ledge and when you go by you see it it's humped up even when they did route 20 all they did was chip down a little bit and just paved right over it they didn't dig it out but that is it i don't think there's anything you know in here mm -hmm. but it's just this section here which might do it which i mean i might have to put some along yeah the and there. you know I, I, i'm not trying to make you recreate yep. some wildlands just Right. If you're if you're going to be in the ground and you're going to be bringing plants in, right, a couple more. Well, I was yes, yeah, so nice. I was trying I was trying to try to space it like I have in front of the motorsports mm -hmm. building, so then everything looks yeah, uniform. So it looks, yeah. But you can't do that because of the ledge. Yes, that's, <laughs> but I mean I can be close to it. But it's a little city there, now. Mike. What's that? You got a little city there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that right? You yeah. open the tax base. Yeah. Does anybody have any other comments? Wendy? John? You all set? And that, I know that you were continued until the 20th of June with the zoning board. Yes. Do you anticipate any additional alterations based on that meeting coming? No. Okay. It's in fair, I think it would be fair to say that the only issue was comments from an abutter concerning the functionality of the present drainage system, system, which has subsequently been looked at by you folks Correct. and by the peer review engineer mm -hmm. and determined to be functioning properly as designed. Okay. Yeah, I heard that. I just didn't want this board to consider approving it if you thought that there would be additional alterations. I, I don't, we don't anticipate that. Okay. All right, do we have a motion? Make a motion. To uh, good question. To approve with conditions. conditions. Yeah. All right. Stipulated by conditions, Adam. construction hours. 7.30 It's not five. 20, it's not 24 hours a day. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. neighbor to your left complains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, built per the approved plan. Uh, all other boards and commissions, you're going to abide by all other approvals and conditions from other boards. Uh, I, I don't think, oh, uh, I think that prior you might need to retract your motion and the board may need to vote on waivers from the landscaping bylaw prior to, just so everything's buttoned up and they have those waivers in there. Well, he uh, agreed to put in the additional trees. Well, he agreed to possibly add additional landscaping. I mean, he's... I don't know if that plot is going to support all of those trees. If you, want to, if you want to hold him to that, you can. You can also give him waivers with him, with the condition that he plant the additional parcel as practicable with plant material and that may be a more suitable why don't we put that in as one of the conditions well but you need to waive the landscaping requirements if you're going to do that or he's going to be required to plant material based on the landscaping bylaw all right okay so i'll retract 
to make a motion to waiver on the on the, um, buff, the two buffer requirements on the west and south side or west and west north side. And north side. Second? You're going to second that, John? Second. Vote? Aye. Aye. It's a vote. All right. And then we would so go make the motion to approve with conditions as previously stipulated by Adam. I'll second that. Okay. And then the last one will be planting that additional parcel uh, with plant material as practicable. Mm -hmm. If I have to change anything before I do, I will see you and go over it. Well, it's as practicable, Mike, so that's... Yeah. Yeah. You want to let them know, that's... By all means, let them know. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, uh, who seconded that? I sure. did. Okay. And did we get a vote? Yes. Aye. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice Good evening. Right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Me too. Enjoy the rain. Now the rain yeah. stopped. Hey, you don't have to water Has the garden. It it is. No, you just have to take all the slugs off. The <laughs> uh, I do have one last item for you folks. Is that with us? Or? No, no. <laughs> You're free to go. <laughs> free to go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It involves Paul Revere Way. I have received. That's um, the one you did a lot release for. Was it the last time or the time before that? That's up on uh, Barn Street. Bond Street, right at the top, down to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have received a letter of credit for the remaining items. You have a copy of a letter from the developer and a cost estimate for the remaining items, uh, which has been reviewed by the DPW director. It was in your packets tonight. I just got the letter today. Uh, and he's requesting release of the remaining lots and putting up the letter of credit in place of the covenant. Uh, I spoke with the DPW director uh, a week ago and he has reviewed the cost estimates based on the mass DOT uh, weighted bid prices. Mm -hmm. So generally the town will find uh, that their prices are, are slightly lower than those weighted bid prices uh, when they go out uh, and do their, their work. So. This is a fairly conservative number on the work that remains. Uh, what he'd like to do is, again, have his remaining seven lots released uh, with that letter of credit as surety. Uh, and he, my understanding is he has at least a majority of the lots uh, committed, uh, purchase and sale signed, and he's ready to go, and he needs the lot releases in order to be able to begin construction. Uh, and upon him doing a lot of that heavy work, uh, most of the cement work for the foundations, he'll begin to complete the remaining items on the road. I think his desire would be to have those items done uh, before winter, uh, and I think a lot of that's going to depend on, on finalizing sales on the, the remaining lots. Okay. That's the recommendation of the DPW, then, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what is the proper format for the motion? Uh, to release the lots and replace the, the covenant surety with the letter of credit surety. Okay. Make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And signatures, please. I'm sorry, the envelope is for the next meeting. Okay. 49 Central and 810 Washington. Aren't you glad you've got two weeks to do it? Yeah. Okay. So it'll be these plus the plus Mossad. Mossad plus, plus this here. Prospect. Okay. So we shouldn't make any plans on Thursday either. No, we'll just be here till midnight on Wednesday. 
Well, I figured you'd be into Thursday morning. Yeah, you might. Mm -hmm. So ready for that vacation, huh? Well, I... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Must be nice to work for the RTA. You get to take two weeks off from vacation. La-dee-da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Um, Cape, Maine. Stuff, Any other business? I have a motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.